Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron. So we should get to the pit and talk to a guy named Ted. That's him. Kneel and repent. Yes, pilgrim. The eye is blind. You saw sent you? Oh, thank the gods. I'm relieved that he's still alive. I'm Ted. What do you need me to do? You said that you would know a secret way to reach the small cave at the back of the Beholder's Lair. Can you help me find it? The way to enter the Beholder's Lair? Well, you must go down the pit of the Faithless. Below is a secret pathway to the small cave in the lair. I don't know exactly where the passage is. Be wary of the creatures who feed upon the bodies of the Faithless that are thrown down there. Very well. Thank you for the assistance, Ted. Good luck, my lord. Okay, so there's a... what? Well, now we can go down here. Very well. What do we have here? A ghost and a mummy. Nature, take the life she gave! Embarrassing. Uh, kill the mummy. Nature! Take the life she gave! Die! Yes. My weapon has no effect. If memory you need something? What do you require? Then attack the ghast. Speak of mind. Your what? Go for the eyes, dude. Go for the eyes! Yeah! Okay, yes. we have to change the magical weapons here. Yes. I'll do it. Oh, you suck. So this thing? What is my task? Thank you. Done. Ooh, one gold coin. Don't give me too much at once. Don't spoil me. Oh fuck, containers full. Hmm, great. Maybe I should have brought two gem bags. Oh well. On my honor. And another ring. Oh yeah. Did we change it back? Yes, we did. What do you require? Who the hell are you, a zombie? What is this? What is this? Living ones? Here I must tell the mayor. What a fuck. First of all. Yes? Back. As you ask. What is my task? Great fun! <laughs> I shall not yield to you. That's one thing that I don't like. There's a door here. Fall creature and what feed the earth. <laughs> yeah, on my honor. You need magical weapons. What do you require? Take! <laughs> so we could, we could go down here. For right and honor. <laughs> Wait, is this disease? How unpleasant. Okay, let's see. We go down here and see what we find. It shall be. Consider it done. A zombie. Blinded. 
upgrade. Yes. No. I stand ready. No. I thought a paladin would have task? a cure disease spell, but maybe. Oh wait, a zombie. And trash how. Shh! Why did you come amongst us? I beg you to leave. The smell, the smell of food makes us wild. Tell us where the passage to the beholder lairs, and I'll be out of your hair quickly enough. He wants to see the great feeder? The great feeder? If you're referring to the one who throws you down all the dead bodies, then yes, I suppose so. The great feeder is beyond the bridge. He is. He goes there to serve him and cleans him. The smell is too much. I cannot stand it anymore. Shh. Okay, stop it. Form up here. Uh, first of all. You, On my honor. You and I'll you help help I can. retreat I here. I await your word. Okay, what do we have? A shadow fiend, a skeleton warrior, a shadow fiend. Okay. What do you require? What can I do? Throw a weapon here. Boom. Great fire! <laughs> Yes. Oh, you don't have no idea. Yeah. Summon Hake Hakeyasha. Level 7. Shit. The spell is similar to the 6th level wizard spell Summon Nishru. The Hakeyasha is a more powerful version of the Nishru. Having more hit points, better attacks, and immunity to normal weapons. Whee. By casting the Summon Hakeyasha spell, the wizard calls into being a magical. Uh, being of considerable power, the Hakeyasha. At first glance, this appears to be some sort of mist, but upon close examination, it's this boiling, churning grey mass of vapors and shapes move with a life of its own. Drawn towards magic like a moth to the flame, this creature feeds on the energy surrounding and used by wizards and other spellcasters. Luckily, there is no question as to the loyalty of the creature and it will not attack its summoner even though it would like nothing better. The Hakeyasha has no physical attacks at all, however, it can be hurt by physical attacks. Each time the creature touches a target wizard a target wizard, and wraps its tendrils around him, there are two major effects. First, the magical items with charges that the target possesses will be drained by one charge, destroying him if only one remains. The second is it will cause the wizard to lose one memorized spell. This is chosen at random, however, it will consume the highest level possible. The Hakeyasha is completely immune to magic and not only that, but magic will actually heal this creature. The creature will remain under the wizard's control until reduced to zero hit points or the spell duration expires. Very nice, two-handed swords plus one. 
arrows of ice. Okay, but you're still not hostile? What is that? A ghoul lord. What do Fine. you require? Yes? Let him come. Consider it done. You point. I, I point. Live by the sword. Live a good long For time. right and honor. I must tell the mayor. Three thousand XP. Okay. How about we kill Go you? Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! Yeah! What is my task? Yes. I go. Okay, we got it. On my what do you yes, what is my task? Thank you. Oh, you're running out of errors. Well, I have this one nice little ice arrow here for you. What's that? Arrow of ice. Fine. On my honor. So we have an exit here. What's in the barrel? I will do my best. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, but now. The, no, she's still deceased, but he no longer is deceased. Bolt of lightning. Arrow of fire. What do you require? What do we have here, I wonder? <laughs> Exactly. I shall not find out to strike you down. You will fall yet. What, Yashimu doesn't do damage? One damage, that's just the ice damage. Okay. Let's see what the piercing arrows do. Yes. My weapon has no effect. My weapon has no effect. But I use magical ones. What is my task? <laughs> Yay! So, what do we have here? Um, Dial Charm, already have it. Put it in here. What is that? Gauntlets. Of dexterity! Isn't that what you were looking for? See? <laughs> okay, uh, who could use that? You already have. You have the gauntlets of dexterity. Ah, you 
can't have it since you're a thief. So nobody can actually use that right now. That's bad. But it can't be helped. But at least you have your armor class back. That's good. And that's pretty much all we can do here. So how about we form up here? What's up with you here? See, she's still deceased, but it should go away. Okay, here we are again. Yes. The cost to battle and victory. We have a ghost here. On my honor. What do you require? I shall not yield to I you. I won't let my friends be hurt. Yeah, too bad. Kevin can't reach them. By my honor, you shall not I don't see like the look of this. Not can't reach them. That's the problem when you're fighting yes. on a bridge. What is my task? Thank you. On my honor. What do you require? What did Very you drop? Spell turning. Yes. Oh, there appears to be an entrance. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Done. That was a level 5 spell. To Ghoul Town. What is my task? A golf. For right and honor! <coughs> A dangerous mistake. I guess if you're alone, you're not that tough. But three of those? Fuck. It's a circle gem. I am ready. I guess we need some healing. On my honor. As you ask. This is a lot more exciting than any circus. Vita Mortis Vita Mortis 
What do you require? Let's move on then. It shall be. Okay, there yeah, probably is a monster in there, I'm pretty positive. That's a fucking beholder. Take the life she gave! Uh -oh. So a beholder is not more powerful than a gaunt, gaunt, whatever. Dragon's Bane plus three. It's a fucking halberd. That's very nice if you need a three uh, plus three weapon. This weapon, uh, this was the weapon of Thorvin Ducal, one of the seven self-proclaimed dragon slayers who spent years railing against what they called an insidious dragon infestation that threatened Farron. <coughs> Thorvin had this weapon enchanted at great expense and used it on many occasions though of dragons only a single white has fallen to it. The dragon slayers met their match in an cantankerous ancient rat who slew the entire group in an epic battle. This weapon did not end up in the beast's heart however and the creature returned to its lair to recuperate and when it emerged the field of combat was well scavenged. Plus six versus dragons. Very nice, and we have lots of potions. There was a spell. Protection from acid. Scrapped it. Kiaros too. Arrows plus one and darts plus one. Apparently inventory is getting full again. Ari has some space. So I'm gonna put the rings in there because they don't stack. You're healed, right? You're not healed. Containers full. Hmm. But still, there are too many of those stones. And I don't know which are valuable and which are not.
Okay, so what was in here? We got that. We got that too. You need something? You could heal me if you still have a healing spell. You don't have one. Yes. Then I have to do it myself. What is Consider it done. Okay. Let's see. Probably there's another monster in here. A god. I uh, I won't let my friends be hurt. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Yeah, hey. You're dead. Ooh, the rift device. Okay. On my honor. Let's form up here. And now Jahira is no longer um, hurt, uh, deceased. The rift device. The mysterious rift device. This rod is said to be so destructive that it was cursed by the gods and buried deep within the earth. The ancient god Amaunato and his worshippers were charged with the task of guarding it. Amaunato's fading avatar has allowed you to use it with the expressed purpose of destroying the unseeing eye. The avatar asked that you return it when your task is done as it would be exceptionally dangerous to bring this device above ground. Fine. So we put this one in here. What do you require? Oh, the two parts melt into one and the assembled rod seizes with power, feeding your cruel feeding your crueler emotions. Greed, hate, lust and violence all surge within you. And you now know why this device has been hidden away. The rod can be used like a wand and has but one charge. You should equip it in your quick slot immediately. We did. Fine. 26,250 uh, experience points are nothing to sneeze at. Dancing Eye. A low voice sounds within your mind. Despair sighted, for death is thy familiar. Okay. Yeah, that was awesome. Good thing I saved. Instant death, I like that a lot. It shall be. So, boom shakalaka. Yes. I use the rift device on you. I. I don't like the look of oh. it. Great. Again, it killed me. It shall be. Yes. What is my considerate? Oh. What a fuck. You gotta be kidding me. What kills me? Yes. Do I need to drink something? Okay. What is my task? 
Last try. Next time I send one it someone ahead who has more hit points. On my honor. I will strike you down. Open the eyes. What yes! do you require? Consider it done. Okay. Yes. We got it. Thirty thousand XP. Or what did we get? What is my task? Thirty thousand. Minsk killed it. And Jahira is panicking. Great. So I guess I just had to somehow evade his attack. What did he use anyway? <coughs> Improved mantle, protection from energy, <coughs> protected by spell deflection. Then he cast the power of stun on Minsk. <coughs> I have no idea what killed me all the times, all those times. <coughs> on my honor. Let's wait for her to hear to snap out of it. My legs are just aching. I've what never walked so much okay. in my life. Can, can we rest now? What did we get Please. anyway? And we got the five percent magic resistance. Uh, that's not really much. And the rift device is empty now. After having used the rift device, it cannot be used again due to the curse put upon it. The avatar who gave it to you asked that you return it to him when you have used it to help defeat the unseen eye. We actually did that. But before we return to the avatar, we will of course explore the area here. So, thank you very much for watching. And see you soon. Bye.